Welcome to another video on Keyclock Identity and Access Management System. Today I am talking about how to integrate an external identity provider with Keyclock. First of all, I will explain you about my server setup for this example. I am using a single Spring Boot application and two Keyclock servers. One server is acting as the identity broker and other one is acting as the identity provider. Identity provider is the entity which contains identity information. Identity broker is the entity which connects identity provider and service provider. Also you can see I have mentioned the port numbers of each server in this diagram. A Spring Boot application is secured with the identity broker. Our requirement is that the users coming from the identity provider should be able to access the Spring Boot web application. Let's go through the configuration steps. First step is Spring Boot application integration with the identity broker. As the second step, we need to integrate the identity broker with the identity provider. In this case, both are Keyclock servers and I am using OpenID Connect protocol for both integrations. Let's get started. Step number one is Spring Boot app integration with the identity broker. I have explained this integration in one of my previous videos and here I have included the link in the description area. If you want to know that in detail, you can watch that video. Anyway, now I will show you the configurations of that setup. First I will show the client configurations. After that I will show you the Spring Boot application configuration. Now I am in the client configuration section. I have used the client ID as OIDC client. Client protocol is set to OpenID Connect. Access type is confidential. I have set the valid redirect URL as localhost 8081 with a wildcard because the Spring Boot application is listening to port 8081. In this tab, you can see the client secret. In the roles tab, here you can see I have added a client role named KC role. Only the users having this client role can access secured resources of the Spring Boot application. Let's visit to the Spring Boot app configurations. This is the Gradle file of that project. I am using Keyclock Spring Boot adapter to secure this application. This is the controller class. There are two endpoints as public and private. Public endpoint is accessible for anyone. Private endpoint is accessible only for the authorized users. This is the application.properties file. Here contains the important configurations. Server port is set to 8081. After that I have provided the client configurations. In the last section, you can see I have declared the secured URL pattern and set the role as KC role. This implies that only the users having KC role, client role can access this secure endpoint. In the line number 9, I have set resource role mapping to true. Therefore, this will only check the client roles and simply ignore the realm roles in the authorization process. Watch my previous video in the description area to know more about this integration. Now we are done with the first step, Spring Boot app integration with the identity broker. Let's complete the second step. Now we are going to integrate the identity broker with the identity provider. For that, we need to configure both identity provider and identity broker. First, I will do the identity provider configurations. Now I am in the identity provider's admin console. You can identify it by the port number which is 8000. For doing the integration, I need to create a client application to represent the identity broker. Therefore, I am visiting to the client's page. I create new client. I set the name as IDP client. Since this integration is happening through OpenID Connect protocol, I keep the client protocol as OpenID Connect. Save the client. I set the 
client access type as confidential. I set the URL as localhost 8080. I use a wildcard as well. This URL belongs to the identity broker. On the successful login, identity provider will redirect the user to the identity broker. Therefore, redirect URL should belong to the identity broker. I save this client. Client secret can be seen from credentials tab. Now we are done with the identity provider configurations. In order to successfully connect this identity provider with the identity broker, we need to have three things. Those things are client ID, client secret and identity provider metadata. You know to get the client ID and the secret of the client we just created. Perhaps you might not know how to get the IDP metadata. For that, you need to go to the realm settings page. Now I am in the realm settings page of the identity provider. Here you can see there are two endpoints as OpenID configuration and SAML 2.0 identity provider metadata. From here you need to copy the OpenID endpoint configuration link. I just copied that. Now I am going to configure the identity broker. Now I am in the admin console of the identity broker. You can see the port number is 8080. I am visiting to the identity providers page for configuring a new identity provider. Here I click add provider drop down. I select keyclock open ID connect type. If your IDP is not a keyclock server, you can either use open ID connect or SAML as your IDP type. I put the alias as Keyclock IDP. Before doing any other configuration, I directly scroll down to the import external IDP config section. Here I paste the URL I copied from the identity provider console. Click import. Once imported, you can see many mandatory fields are auto completed. Now I only need to add the client details only. I set the authentication as client secret sent as post. I set the client ID and secret belong to the IDP client we created a short while ago. Client ID is IDP client. I paste the secret as well. I save this configuration. Just by linking an identity provider is not enough to log into our Spring Boot application. I hope you can remember that Spring Boot application can access only the users having a special client role named KC role. Therefore, I need to map that role to all the users coming from this identity provider. For that, I need to create a mapper. I go to the mappers tab. Create. I select the mapper type as hard coded role. From here, I select that special role named KC role. Select client. Client name is OIDC client. KC role is found. Select client role. I set the name as hard coded role mapper. Now any user coming from this IDP will automatically get the KC role client role. I save this mapper. Now the integration is complete. It is the time to test our setup. Now I am going to test my configuration. At this point, my Spring Boot application and both Keyclock servers are running. I try to visit the private URL of the Spring Boot application. It is running on 8081 port.
it redirected me to the identity broker's login page. From here, I select my newly configured IDP, Keyclock IDP. Now it takes me to the identity provider's login page. This IDP already has a user named admin. I provide the credentials of that user. Click sign in. Since this is the first login, this admin user is new to the identity broker. It asks for additional information from the user. I give some dummy values. I click submit. I was successfully redirected to the Spring Boot application. So the integration is completely successful. So this is what I wanted to discuss with you in this video. If you have any question, please put them in the comment area. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.